Aya, ken wala nisia wa enzo ane, ni la mia 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 ta wa ane. I've been a student of my language for approximately 20 years, and I currently serve my community through my work as director of the Mia Mia Project at Miami University. The Mia Mia Project is a tribal initiative that exists within an academic setting that was put in place to respond to the language and cultural educational needs of the Mia Mia people. I think for myself, I, I don't see my heritage language as an object to be preserved. In other words, I try not to over-objectify my language when I think about why I would invest time learning to speak. Instead, I feel that my language is an expression of an evolving life way. This life way is tied to a way of knowing or to a knowledge system that, to some degree, defines who we are as a distinct people. It binds us to the many places that we've occupied over time and provides a perspective on how we see and understand ourselves in a world of others. All of these attributes of our knowledge system are still very relative to our contemporary lives today. And so our language is more than just talking about an old way of knowing, but instead can inform a current way of being. That is the real value that drives me to want to continue learning my language and the knowledge system that it reflects. The notion of health is more broadly expressed in our language as nahe meto senewingi. This could be translated as living well or living properly. This expression attempts to capture the idea that general well-being hinges on something more than just physical health. We also have a departing term in our language, which is nepoach kalo. This term has multiple meanings depending on how it's used, but it generally evokes the notion of awareness, wisdom, and knowledge. This term is important because it preserves the notion that what we must seek to do in life is simply to know. Seeking knowledge is how we improve our overall condition as human beings, and so knowing has direct impacts on our health as Miamia people. Our ability to connect to this knowledge system, or way of knowing, can positively affect our general well-being as a community. Since we began our language and cultural revitalization efforts in the early 1990s, I've had the opportunity to witness the effects of this effort on my community and especially the youth. Through our work, we've seen profound improvements in youth identity formation, cultural competence, community engagement, and a general strengthening of intergenerational kinship bonds. Learning what it means to be Miamia as an additive feature of education builds a young person's self-esteem. When our young people feel good about being Miamia and are knowledgeable about their ethnic identity, then they are better prepared to succeed in life. For a group like us, who have experienced two forced relocations, the loss of homelands, the oppression of our identity, and generations of cultural shame, the work to restore the very essence of who we are as Miamia people has had profound positive effects on our ability to serve our tribal nation and become active participants in a global society. We all seek to belong and to feel safe. And so for myself, speaking my language connects me to an ongoing human experience that is generations old. I'm strengthened on a personal level when I share this experience with other members of my community. Speaking my language helps me interpret my world and better prepares me to respond to the needs of my community and my family so that we may all succeed in life. I believe that our language reclamation efforts and all that is required of that work has created a pathway towards our collective health as a people. Newe, pesendawe ikwe.